my name is Ritika Chandar and I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the Institute of Neuroanatomy where I work on a neuroinflammatory demyelinating disease, multiple sclerosis. I am the first author of the paper Antibody Cross-Reactivity Between Casein and Myelin-Associated Glycoprotein Results in Central Nervous System Demyelination. And in the next two minutes I will tell you what this is about. In our publication, we not only show that uh, patients with multiple sclerosis harbor antibodies against casein, but we also show that there is cross-reactivity between cow milk and CNS antigens, which results in demyelination. Well, our data basically um, broadens the current understanding of how um, diet or dietary intake can have an influence on the etiology of multiple sclerosis. So it's not just about um, immunomodulatory drugs or treatment, but it's also about personalized diet in combination with taking drugs and how that together influences the course of the disease. Way back in the 90s, there was a publication suggesting the very high correlation between milk consumption and uh, the prevalence of MS. And from there, there was another publication in the 2000s where they focused on one specific milk protein, which is butrophilin, and how that, because of sequence homology between butrophilin and MOG, results um, in kind of demyelination in a mouse model of MS. Here we, we further the stage and uh, we focus on another milk antigen, which is casein, and how that cross-reacts with myelin-associated glycoprotein in our case, so MAG, and that can result also in, or I would say, exacerbate demyelination in a mouse model of MS. I would like to say figure two, where we show that uh, serum IgG from casein immunized mice uh, bind to oligodendrocytes. Might be a bit of a silly answer, but I personally absolutely love immunofluorescence and microscopy because there is nothing more convincing than being able to see uh, in colors, uh, exactly like visualize, have an image in front of you. So it's much better than seeing bands or reading out PCR data. We hope to characterize the antibody response to bovine casein on a more uh, specific antigenic level because at the moment we know that um, there is antibody cross-reactivity between MAC and casein but not exactly which epitope or uh, the antigenic determinant um, and how the cross-reactivity takes place. Okay.